into a Mommy Says at the Toy Insider. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to meet G from the Greer Girls last week. Um, I even, I know him and I learned stuff about him that I didn't know watching that video. So this week, as you can tell from the title, I want to talk about um, getting more representation for real looking dolls in the doll world. And so I, I'm going to start with, right now I have in my hand an Akuzi doll who, that I just got. Um, I've named her Kim, she's amazing. But I want to, I want to show you something. So growing up um, in the 70s, I had it really easy. Um, I was a little blonde girl, I was a little white blonde girl um, with green eyes. It was never hard to find a doll that looked like me. I am blessed in that can always find a doll that looked like me. And even now, even now, Barbie, finally, not only does she look like me in hair color, now she's got my body. Although actually I wish I had this body. My body's, my body's, it's been, it's been rough. It's been rough. Mommy's gained some weight. It's been a rough year, um, rough couple of years. But anyway, but so it's always been easy to find this. So there is this bias towards blonde hair, right? Um, and so it's very hard to, to find, you know, a doll that, that looks like you still. And, and, and Barbie's working on it. And if you happen to be, um, a redhead, you, you can find, this is the weird part. I'm very all over the place this week, guys. You just got to kind of roll with it. So Gracie's a redhead. Now, here's the thing. See, here's, here's, here's tall redhead Barbie. Okay. So I think she's just average height but here's the newest redheaded Barbie. Okay, there are lots of dolls with red hair and there are lots of people on television with red hair. And I recently saw a study that there's a, a huge number of people with red hair in commercials. As a matter of fact, more than the other two hair colors, women with red hair in commercials, okay? Red hair, especially on women, is a big thing. But in reality, Reality, only 3% of the world's population has red hair naturally. They are dying out. So it is a little bit hard to find a doll that looks like Gracie, but you know what's harder? You know what's really harder? What's harder is to be, um, is to be a girl of color, an African-American girl, a black girl, and find a doll that looks like you. Now, you might be able to find some sort of barbified um, doll that, and, and this especially in the 70s. In the 70s, it was very rare to find. If you could find it, they really just molded it in like a sort of a light brown plastic, and that was your option. That was, <laughs> there you go. They were like, there's your African-American doll. Um, but if you have beautiful dark skin and gorgeous textured hair, Walk down the store aisle as a little girl and, and put yourself in that little girl's shoes. She's walking down the aisle, dark, beautiful, deep, dark skin, gorgeous head of textured curls. And what is she seeing? She's seeing this. She's seeing this. She's seeing this. Oh, um, it's really, really hard, but we are as a culture making strides. And I applaud once again, I know I keep applauding Barbie for the fashionista line, but I applaud them for making dolls like this, okay? This is one of the newer fashionistas. I want to give you a close up on the beauty that is this doll. Come on camera. She is gorgeous. This is not just a Barbie that they molded in a dark brown plastic. This is a beautiful, beautiful woman um, with gorgeous textured hair. She's got these really funky amber eyes, um, which is really cool. Um, and I do love that combination. I've known um, some people that I've worked with who've had like this gorgeous ebony skin and then they've had like amber brown eyes and it's like just, but even like, you know, the lip color that they've chosen and the facial shape and this hair is like, this is like, you know, this is real. I mean, it's got gel in it, of course, but we've got some real textured hair. I mean, come on back camera. She's gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. And but I, they did make, um, and I can't find her, and she might be in Gracie's room. They made a gorgeous, um, a gorgeous doll with blonde, um, sort of reddish blonde textured hair, um, and sort of like light, like light latte skin with freckles. And she's like so gorgeous. And I was like, oh my God, that's like a real person. That's like a person that I see. It's a person that I interact with in the world. Oh my gosh, it's a real person. There is a little girl who looks like that. And she's gonna walk down the toy aisle and she's gonna be like, oh my God, mommy, that doll is me. And I just, I'm so happy that we're finally starting to get there. I think we, we still have a ways to go. I think there does still tend to be a tendency to just put darker plastic in the mold and make it. <laughs> <laughs> make the baby doll but with the baby dolls it's a little bit easier to um to and one of the things that i'm very excited about is there are a number of mom mompreneurs uh which are mom entrepreneurs who are uh seeing that gap in the the doll world and creating dolls for their daughters and for girls like their daughters this is an jacuzzi doll um, this was sent to me for the Mommy and Gracie show by Yakuzi Dolls. Um, it's uh, invented and, and brought to reality by a mom who has a 10-year-old daughter and walking this, the, the doll store aisles um, as, as a little black girl trying to find a doll It was that looked like her. It was not really working out. Um, and so she created uh, the Yakuzi Dolls that have a variety of hair textures. Like this one is... Uh, this is the one they sent me has this absolutely gorgeous natural textured hair. I'm in love with this hair. I can't stop. I can't stop playing with her hair and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skin tone. But I am so excited about um, the fact that there are more options for girls today. I would implore the toy companies to um, to to, you know, buy it to, to bring to market more options. This, by the way, is just a, a look at um the Ikuzi dolls and the other the other options. So there's like a medium and a lighter toned and then like this doll, the darker tone. I also wanna show you one of my, um, I haven't reviewed her yet, I'm very excited. This is one of my Barbie collector dolls that I just got. Um, and she goes back to um, the jazz, the jazz era of the 20s. Look at this doll. Look at her. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. So you might be thinking at this point, come on back camera. So you might be thinking at this point, woman, you have an awful lot of black dolls. <laughs> and here's what I want to say. I would like to encourage all of the people watching who are not black or African American or uh, Pacific Islander, uh, not Pacific Islander, no, no, Caribbean, whatever, Haitian, whatever whatever person of color if you're not a person of color okay could you do me a favor could you buy some dolls of color for your kids because you know what in the real world there are people of color everywhere and if we're going to be you know playing because because play play a lot of play is kids learning how to interact you know if you watch your kids play especially if you give them time to play and you take them away from the electronics and you watch them play with their dolls. Um, kids play out social situations with dolls. And so please, I beg of you, even if your daughter looks like this, can you buy her at least one of these? <laughs> so that she can, you know, get, you know, get used to the fact that people look different, you know? That would be really, really awesome. And so, you know, I think that it's important that um, in your own home, you have uh, dolls that represent a variety of ethnicities. My heart breaks, I have to tell you, sidebar, the one thing in, where I live in New Jersey, we have a huge um, Indian population and a m growing and ever growing Middle Eastern population. And my heart breaks for those little girls because when they go to the store, there's nothing that looks like them. There is nothing. There is there's nobody, there's nobody with a hijab. There's 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 no Indian girl, you know, doll. I mean, the American girl needs to get on that. We need a Middle Eastern girl, we need an Indian girl. I mean, like what the heck? You know, it's one of the largest immigrant populations into the US, but for some reason, we're not making dolls that reflect that at all. We have Asian dolls. 
you know, you can occasionally, you can occasionally find like the token Asian doll on the shelf, right? But you can't find at all. So I feel horrible for those little girls. I mean, they, they've got, I mean, so somebody please get on that. And uh, parents, I encourage you to please buy dolls of different ethnicities so that your child can interact with dolls and sort of, you know, from the very beginning of life, understand that people come in different colors. Like, you know what, get the, get the baby alive, get, get the black baby alive. It's baby alive, it eats, it poops, because you know what? Black people eat and poop just like white people. It's the same thing. They poop Play-Doh too, <laughs> right? No, but seriously, like really, please, I encourage you to do that. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Are, are, are we there yet with the diversity? What ethnicities did I totally miss in this conversation that you think are completely not represented in Toys and Dolls? I would really like to talk about that with you. Um, if at any point during this conversation I was culturally insensitive, please tell me um, because um, I am a white person. Um, and sometimes, even though I, I, I try not to be, I know that sometimes I'm still just completely culturally insensitive because sometimes I'm just, I'm just stupid. So if I have been at all, please call me out for it so that I'll know and then I, I will learn and I won't say it or do it or whatever again please. Um, and thank you so much to the Toy Insider for um, giving me this corner of your channel um, to do strange videos like this and talk about this kind of stuff because I think it's important important for us as parents to talk about um, these things and to think about these things. And I applaud the Toy Insider for like just handing over the reins and going, go talk about stuff, mommy. And just let me do it. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. G will be back next Monday and we'll get to, I don't know what she's going to talk about, but it'll be interesting. I'm sure until then, love you very much. Please subscribe to the toy insider. Please check them out. Toyinsider.com. Check out akuzidolls.com so you can find out more about those and I will see you again in two weeks. Love you guys. Bye.